me back to 2019 MSI, where he also played Galio support. It's not going to be the lock-in, though. He's toying with us, and it is the Alistair in the end. Just a little bit more. Might turret. But that's three we waves, see? basically, that have just died to that tower. Meanwhile, though, Ona look for Apu in the mid lane. Seismic Shop will knock him back. The chase continues as TL on the board. This is what Shot wall dive. Core chasing forward. Not going to go for the engagement. He's been hovering around this top side for a long time. But Faker finds the flash. Seismic Shove. Apu pulled back with a heroic charge. And Ona. Well, piece TL will get their second. You can see Gumiyushi already at 15 stacks, even when he hasn't actually been laning <laughs> against anyone for the majority of this game. APA is going to try and get away, but the Flash Deadfast Presence pulls him back. Still no plans for him. And the Dragon is sent to the stars. Faker on the board. So there's a puppy in the game who can very easily turn fights in your favor in terms of numbers as well. And it makes it really hard for him. We'll see. Maybe they can catch them on the exit because Karia doesn't have his teleport available right now. But because they're so far behind in item spikes and in power, maybe a pick? Knock back with the Intofus all out. Pulls Zayus under the tower. He has the flash. Core JJ is there. Knock <laughs> back with the Keeper's Verdict, but Umti across the wall will be able to get one. He has Smite. If he could steal one grub, it would actually be huge to deny the four. Knocks into the wall. APA coming across with the Singularity as well. Kumi Yushi's going to keep him away. The grub resets at 2,000 HP. Umpty dashing forward onto Faker, who has to flash away across the wall. Last Embrace doesn't hit. Umpty should be able to steal this one away. T1 will be very greedy to go for it, but a good play by Team Liquid as they manage to get another. Carrier being forced away here by Impact. Ignite is down from the unsealed spellbook. Carrier, good Bellows Breath will stop the Intopu 3 from knocking him back. And carry, I guess. <laughs> and, a, and a top die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Umpty. Knocked into the wall. There's the seismic shove. Crescent Guard goes down. Faker can't do the damage. But now, Carrier caught in the midst of it as Umpty tries to turn it back around. Call of Fortune coming out. Carrier can't knock it up as he's stunned against the wall. Jan going in as well. Carrier so tanky. The falling sky not enough. And APA right now doesn't have the damage. But it is a 3v4. Call JJ going back in with a Fate's Call. And Ona's locked up. Team Liquid start to fight back. back. Impact living up to his name is the all out back as Yorn takes another and Team Liquid win the fight around the Drake. Crucially there, so much damage goes into Umpty and T1 is a member down. So Umpty with his ultimate stays alive, Zeus stays in top and TL will get to the second Drake. Team Liquid with some team play down around the Dragon. That will keep their Dragon stacking alive. And Impact also means that he's going to go further behind in terms of individual gold. So yeah, the stacks, but at 136 right now, he'll start to get a little bit more as we go through the game. Umpty locked up. Weaver's wall coming in as well, and Umpty realizes he needs to get the hell out of here. Crescent Guard called to the forge, got TP in, and Team Liquid looks to take the fight. Faker has to flash across the wall. Core JJ with the unbreakable will, maybe an unbreakable spirit here for North America. The skies descend, and Team One descend behind them, six feet under. Faker already down, Kerry having to dash away. Owner oh, four slow as well as and Guma are going to expose themselves. Oh, Kerry, no flash, no TP. Does have a tower, I'm not sure. Team Liquid will be able to get through him quickly enough, but that breath of life is a breath of death, and now Faker joins the party! But this is not the sort of party you want to be involved in, as Umpty's able to dash away, Faker manages to survive for a moment. Three, number three for sure, and then Dragon's sole point will be acquired by Team Liquid. We will see in five minutes here if they're able to force T1 once again to come check me on. You mentioned uh, before not having the multiple items. Now Camille has the two item powers. Umpty um, flashes away. Zayas coming in for the chase. TP in behind as Impact looks to join the fray. Umpty should fall first here. The Falling Sky though buys him in on the second zone and falls low. On the back line, Yon is trying to get away from Kerry. Other Dawning Shadow not enough. But Zayas finds him with the flash. Hookshot won't die for Yon. And now T1 really springs to life. Zayas, as soon as he finishes his ravenous Hydra, here comes this fashion. Ona as has this Baron surely going to go down. I mean, Ona has to keep his verdict, but that's really the only ultimate team one have. Carry it flashing forward, APA flashing away, Astral Flight gets him away for the moment. Impact trying to join the party as Cordia J trying to get there in time. Impact goes all out just this once, and he puts Zeus to bed. He won't find another as T1 collapse on him, but Team Liquid do get uh, All the soul stacking that has been a little bit slow this game for Guma, uh, but we'll be able to start getting some more too. It's kind of a uh, seesaw between APA getting put behind in terms of souls early, early game, and now Gumiyushi not being as quick after the after having a bit of an accelerated early game in terms of stacks, only getting up towards 80 right now. AP at up 240. The tier two in the bot lane falls. Zayas trying to get away. Does have TP, no flash for him. Hookshot War Dive was used. TP coming in and Team Liquid. Except that that's all they really wanted. Either, you know, a couple of summoners maybe. They get the TP out. Meanwhile, Kerry is looking for the collapse. 
and T1 want a little bit more of the action. Base call will pull out Core JJ, but Umpty dives in. The Crescent Guard, just enough to keep him alive. And they saved the general, but it's at the heavy cost. T1, they're going to keep going. In fact, Too big ultimate's gone. He was in fact looking for something here as well. He's waiting in the wings, waiting in the bushes. What's him here? Like, TL know he's in the area as well. You can see Core JJ starting to collapse. Team Liquid have given up the Drake. Now, can Appa survive through? Uh, APA survived through Zeus' initial burst. He can. There's the knockup as well. Hexagonum made him though into the hookshot wall dive. APA Samus! No angel saves you from the guard. It's Zeus picking up the one for one in the. For one trade. As crucially, APA dies. And not only that, because they all went top. Mid lane inhib is open. Yep, T1. They're inside those inhibitor turrets now. One inhibitor down for TL. Core JJ looking for something there as the Alistar goes to venture into the jungle and. And try oh, and the wall it. from Baker should stop them, though. Yeah, how do you get into the pit with the Weaver's wall down there? Now it falls. Umpty looking for the steal. Keeper's verdict being channeled by Ona. Misses. 3,000 HP on it. Almost taken away, but Ona lands the smite. TL still looking for more of a fight. Hexagon Maiden was used by Zayas. Thought of the portrait going in as Yon has to flash away. APA keel still keeping the rest of T1 at bay. Poor JJ looking Zayas. for a flank position, but Ona's going to chase him out. Zayas moving up and now starting to recall. Does have the TP. APA going back in as Baker lands the knockup. The seismic shot, the Crescent Guard enough to kill off Umti. The TP in as well by Zayas. Where's he going? Towards the fight as Zayas is on APA. Guma Yushi chases out. TP. APA, no way to go. Tries to Astral Flight, will escape for a moment, but Faker's here to shut him off. Faker down. Impact and Yon doing everything they can to survive, but Impact will have exactly the opposite of that. Yon now forced away and T1 pushing through mid. TL look for the Hill Mary. Maybe we could get a contest on this, but it's gonna cost them their Nexus. That's another TP in, just to make sure they kill Yon. Kelly wanted a piece of the action, a piece of the champ. But T1, the champs of this game at least. TL, they fought and they fought and they looked like they had a chance, but in the end, T1 just slammed the door in their face. 1-0, T1. In this first game, again, it comes down to can the T1 any job, everyone. Oh my goodness. Oh, but it's going to be three AD carries on the side of T1, though, as they use this time around. The vein was not banned because they had to ban the vibe, and so Zayus slams his vein. He was picked uh, from their weak side. Oh. Owner is going to go for the smite. Oh no, it's going to be met by Umti. Quick, quick, quick. Can flag and drag away. Impact still looking for the chase. Has that path maker. Kerry coming back in will have the hail of blades. Umpty hit the Tempest Cripple. Impact. There we go for the stun. Ona kicks. Oh, no. Ona down. Zayas is here to join the party. Kerry rends down. Umpty for Leave the now, so he's not going to take over to his level six. Uh, but Zayas there will also be at a discrepancy. And when you have that Bane versus Cassante, and Impact having his ghost again, uh, she'll feel pretty comfortable. Umpty's going to be able to take up those Void Grunts for the trade on Dragon now. Feels like a recurring theme, this MSI, that teams just don't respect the Talia level six spike. So many skirmishes have started off with a team seeing someone in their jungle and be like, hey, you're not allowed to be here. And then in a moment's notice, Talia shows up. I have to stack up that infernal trigger, though. The wave beginning to die to the tower. Plates already fallen. TL just keeping T1 away from those extra minions. Carrier eats a chunk. Seismic shove, and Carrier's the first to fall. The dash in by Yon. Trying to put T1 in the eighth circle of hell, but can't quite get it. Gumiuchi flashes away the heal. Guma down to 100. Can't quite get the damage. <laughs> Umpty, though, looking for a catch here as Ona and Carrier walk through the jungle together. Umpty able to dodge away from the flag and drag, and then uses Ona as an express out of there. Ona caught up, has to flash. Charm on APA means that he can't quite get the damage down, size and shove. At that point, uh, meanwhile, like you say, it is also going to highlight the DPS focus fire as you kite back from one person, the focus fire of the other ranged players uh, trying to dissuade your opponents from their melee. That thing just makes the ultimate insane. And we also just had another item completion okay, for Kuma. Umpty, TP in by Faker as well, and Umpty's down. Forced out in the Cataclysm. Faker looking for the chase as he dashes forward onto Core JJ. The charm's still connecting. Death charge out as Core JJ looks to escape. Has the flash for face plants. Hits his noggin against the wall. For one, when it comes to these dragons, with Camtech soul on the rift, I think the priority going to be a lot lower than it was last time around at Hextech Soul in win condition in of itself. For Camtech, that's a little bit more tough as T1 
Trying to get the first turret of the game here and further build that gold lead. We'll be able think, to pick up first break. Top lane, not far behind. Just a little bit slower here from Team Liquid. See, Impact was working his way down. Sucks so shot being used as well. TL have invested a lot of tools into this, but with the Rift Hell charging forward, with Impact collapsing, and with only three members of T1 in for that really close range charm. And it now, collapse. no ultimate. Up the kick. Um T flashes sonic waves. Faker has a flash, but he's knocked into the wall. No dash out for him now. Still holds on to that summon as well. And Core JJ taking the kill is not really who you want it on. Of course, Zave split pushing up on that top side to try and answer, but they have a teleport to answer as well. Crucially, I'll yeah. write it out. I wasn't done yet, okay? <laughs> okay? This is T1, which is the one reason why I would trust them to pull this off as APA. Does have the flash seismic shove. Cataclysm dodged away. The flash though coming in is Faker there. You uh, were, yeah, you the, were cursing okay, me, were you? Side turret, uh, the mid lane push as well, kind of abandoned from TL. Interesting, they're sending Yawn down to... There's no cause for worry. Oh, there he just jumps across the wall, has to flash away. It does, it works both ways. Ona dashes away as well, the charm short there. Impact still chasing Ona and Faker towards the top side. Spirit much available for the army, but Ona uh, able to walk away. TL though, do get the summoner out of carry up. Oh, I, was, I wasn't worried at any point of that. Carry out does have to use the flush as Faker. Oh, Faker called up. Death charge stretch line locked up. Faker almost falls. The Inferno trigger will bury T1. Through all the circles of hell, Dante sends them down. Yon chased out. Zayas tries to open up. In, back, out. Will he go forward for more? Call JJ there. Owner with the flank, but he's hooked up. And on the unraveled earth, he's buried beneath it. TL. Look at spot. No emotion. No, he, he was he the same during the final. Yeah. Yeah. Hook again. As they look for the engage on Ona, but Koji is caught out with the Cataclysm. Gumi, Yushi, and Zayas beginning to open up a great blade. Well, we'll stop the chain of corruption. Dragon take. There is so much burst available for TL. You have great frontline and engage between Thank Impact you. and Core JJ. And taking down the Samir Yon has to use it as all the pressure from T1 comes out of the fog of war. Zayas. Baker, he got a charm. Baker got a charm once again, and it's APA who shut down. Ona flashes away and is healed up. Yon now caught in the cataclysm, and the Inferno trigger is just his doom. Another charm landing onto Impact as Team Liquid are pulled underneath the mid tier two. Impact goes all out, but he just can't get the damage down. T1 find four. Baker doesn't need all. He has the charm flash. He finds the pick onto APA. They get the kills, and T1 own the map. Baker looking for another charm as Umpty dashes in, dashes back. Sonic wave forward. Doesn't have the Dragon's Rage. Baker has one more Spirit Rush charge. Umpty could look for this, but Baker wisely realizes discretion is the better form of Valor as he backs and realizes the TP is coming in by Faker. Sonic ready. wave onto the minion wave, and Faker, as, it, as you say, has the Spirit Rush up and sends Umpty to. Ari is clutching it, and the Baron going down quickly. Weaver's wall in by APA. Core JJ lands the hook onto Zayas. An S rank beginning to develop as Zayas flashes the wall. The Ignite's gonna tick on him. And T1 have to back away. Zayas escapes on what can only be single digit HP. But TL immediately call. Let's keep this bound. There's no rolling. juggler. Let's There's no the juggler. There's no smite, as you say. TL going for it. Owner jumps into the pit. Has the GA. Impact falls away. Cataclysm. They're gonna get it. Oh, they're gonna get it. Team Liquid against all odds. Against all hope for the LCK. Slam the door in T1. One space and they're not done yet. Carrier chased away. Team Liquid begin to descend. The Baron secured. Carrier's life no longer his own. T1 with a colossal mistake. Their Baron plays have gotten so much better over the last couple of years. But here, TL get the better of them. Now the push has started. And what a moment for TL. A couple of seconds away, a minute away from victory, perhaps, oh. but Umpty now caught out. Chain of Corruption, Dragon's Rage out, Umpty dies. <laughs> and an overstep is all it takes. And then getting the extra kill, Yon going in, chasing them down. Carry is able to send Gumayushi off to live, but won't be able to escape himself. Weaver's wall in by APA as he looks to try and stop T1 pushing in for that mid -lane. Liquid grouping up with their top laner, who's already at half HP, does have that teleport to rejoin the battle. Yon, rooted, chain of corruption. Yon has to pop the blade well early, and the Catacomb is sure to follow. You have to feel charm against Core JJ once again, and T1 now. Their health bars much more healthy than their compatriots. TL forced away. It's only a 34 second cooldown on Faker's ultimate. Basically, nothing. Level 3 plus the malignants. Soul point. 
seemingly to come through here. 41 is an impact. Dash is in. Oh, they found him! Oh, they found him! They just killed him! They just caught him out! Now Gumi Yushi may be next on the menu because it's a Weaver's Wall, and Gumi Yushi's all on his lonesome! The yeah, carrier out. popped! He flashes, he heals! Carrier will he be able to get there in time to save his AD carry? Both summoners burnt. As you say, owner down. Last team, TL, were the team without the jungler, and they're the ones that secured the objective here. The soul on the line for them. Maybe you let it go. It's just the Mantex soul. If you lose the fight, you lose the game. I don't feel like that's in the water for T1. Oh, Team yeah. Liquid, the NA number one seed against four, T1. Four, four, the four, current four. world champions. As Core is called out, he tries to dredge line, but there's nothing for him to grapple to. Baker dashing forward has one more Spearless Charm, another Charm. It's gonna land onto Impact. And the rest of T1 begin Baron's to up. collapse. As you say, the Baron available to them. Last time, T1 weren't able to get it, even though they had a jungler and TL didn't. The question is, with no wave in mid, what will TL do? They can look to collapse. Instead, I think they might give this up. The Weaver's Wall, possible from APA. Hope, probable for Team Liquid as they dash in. Guma Yushi pulled out with the face call. Umti. Umti able to dodge away from Ono, who has that blast cone. He'll get back into the pit. The Baron down to 2,000. Umti still can get in. No flash for him, but the safeguard to a control ward is all that he Zayus! needs. Zayus begins to open up. Ono secures the Baron. And now Zayus really has the time to rain hell down on Team Liquid. But into the GA he falls. Meanwhile, Yon! 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 Find Faker! Can he find more? If the trigger is primed and ready, he's ready to shoot his shot on the international stage and now the s rank falls off stopwatch coming out from apa as owner will go into the ga core jj can't land the dredge line but the dead charge will follow up young still looking for more owner comes out of the ga and final trigger pulled and there's one thousand tl this is it this is your moment this is your shot you've got to shoot it 50 you've 50 got to look through it 50 50 can you find it the charm onto impact 50 50 as Umti dives in but owner says not today the elder taken by t1 and now zeus has a perfect playground to open up. APA may find one, but T1 are going to wipe Team Liquid off the face of Summoner's Rift. Owner gets the Elder, and T1 will be the victors. Carry is going to chase down APA. Faker gets the last hit. And it's a 40-plus minute game that comes down to an Elder 50-50. Yes, you have Callista Spears, but this is a lethality Callista. And on the other side, the Lee with the Execute always going to be a big threat but with the death timers as long as they are the elder buff t1 about to go up 2-0 but man tl made them work for it a very singular march down the mid lane here for t1 the nexus in their eyes a 2-0 in their eyes a rematch with g2 on the horizon they go to match point looking to play aggressively and obviously Especially when he is double frontline this time around. Zayus is just going to go for the vein again. And some people might wonder, you know, you've got a Sejuani here. Why aren't we picking Meli mid, Meli top to really get that uh, ice away? So Impact will get out. All right, we got a game of Ring Around the Rosie and then a game of Hide and Seek. Yeah, just don't risk it. It's harder to Hide and Seek when there's a turret hitting you in the back. <laughs> However, he'll catch the wave a little bit. And that delays the next wave. Final level four, carrier two, Guma three. Impact and Umti on the way. It's a five-man dive in the bot lane. Just play safe, T1. Owner here to protect. Path maker forward. Guma flashes away from it. But the seismic shot finds two. And carrier's already down, answering. Impact falls himself. As TL might look for more, they'll at least get this wave crashing in. Ono and Guma Yushi under the tower, not much health, no summoners for Guma. Baker coming in from the side as well, but that control ward stops him in his tracks. As it looks like in the end, it will be a one-for-one -one exchange. Yep, Dio go for the classic old five-person dive on the bottom side and try and deny some more minions there and impact the willing sacrifice in that dive. Big thing here is that because of them threatening another dive, Faker actually feels incentivized to oh, play APA. recipe as all oh, APA. Uh, owner's on the chase here as well. No has flash. the flash. APA has no flash. And he doesn't really have a hope in hell of getting out, but instead T1 back away with Core JJ moving in from the side. Big thing there, Owner does have his flash, but doesn't want to use it because he flashes in and there's a, a, he flashes into the waiting arms of Umti and Core JJ. He'd end up going down, doesn't risk it. The hook. Carry has there. And looking for the damage, Owner has to flash away. Yon joining the fray. Still, Guma did have to give up a decent amount of the wave. Carrier gets hooked again, but should be fine here underneath the turret. And we do see... Oh, Yon flash! Oh! Yon flashes away from the shadowing strike. He's going to need him. Piss.
OJJ and Jan are looking for this. Carrier hook, no flash on him. Shadowing strike finds one stun. Carrier has a bunch of spears in his back to end coming out. Gumiyushi locked up with the oh, Sagan no. from the Nautilus, but Faker's on the way, and Jan is falling first. Faker looking for more. Instead, it's Guma who secures the kill. at least try and try and trade. They don't take it that quickly, though. It's still at 2,000 HP. They're looking for owner. Core JJ going in. Only level four. Weaver's Wall's going to separate the two teams as Umti dives in. Onto owner. Still the damage coming out. TL will find one. Faker trying to put the damage in from the side, but Impact Impact. runs across as well. Faker has to flash away from Impact. Path maker in. Double stun. All out. Carrier survives under the tower, but Faker does not have that luxury. The question will be whether they can lock him up in a fight as well. Carrier Hex flashing across the wall. They're shadowing strike, chain of corruption, piercing ammo. Impact down to 100. One more auto. Carrier takes it with the ignite. Impact unable to survive the dive. They very well know our entire side of the map. Faker! Faker. Seismic shove, dredge line. Faker just Valkyrie into it. And now Faker, who tried to escape, won't be able to. APA sends him to an early grave. Flashback to the play that Knight found. The Valkyrie not going to be a, uh, enough. The tower shot, APA takes another. And Zayas pull up in and out play from this position. There's the Ghost. Unraveled Earth going down. Zayas trying to do everything he can to dodge away. And he continues to do so oh, no. until Yon puts a spear in his back. Thank you getting chased away. The Valkyrie will get him to safety this time. What those top laners... Uh, Void Grubs, which now are contestable by T1. Zay is going for the teleport play here on top side. They're calling in Faker. Faker joins the party. APA looking for the damage onto Zay. It's condemned into the wall and condemned to death. Able to push out with the top side tower already being taken. Six Void Grubs is on the menu, and they are the team that has to worry about the timeline in this game mm -hmm. since there is so much scaling on the side of T1. So six Void Grubs is actually quite critical for TL. Break up in two and a half minutes. Won't be a chem sold this game. We've already had a mountain and a camp. Pushes ahead the timeline. I like this from Team Liquid. The focus here, they know they have to index so heavily into these top side neutral objectives. And Roger J on the flank here. Faker no flash, as you said, Kobe. He tries to Valkyrie forward, just looking to clear the wave. Dodges the seismic shove. Well done, Faker. He gets most of the wave. One cannon minion survives. But meanwhile, yeah, I, and again, I do like that call because TL know, hey, we're not we're not that team that's going to play a super long game stack of dragons. Of void mites here. T1, they try their best to make the best, or they try their best to make the best of a bad situation. In this case, Faker getting taken. Can go for it, Zeus. Use the tumble. Here we go. Flash. Death charge, and where's Zayas even gonna go? You don't get an opportunity to move. TL may push for an in here. Top side after top side after top side play for Team Liquid, and now they can push on Inhibitor Tower. Who's even gonna react? Owner's on his way across. Faker on the reset as well, but with six grubs, uh -huh. these mites just bolster your forces so quickly. Don't go for the inhibitor. Glacial Prison's gonna land onto Yon. He still holds onto the cleanse. The double package team. in double TP. T1 investing into this play. Void Seeker in as Faker is forced over the wall. Carrier jumping in with the Storm, but it's the chase there in time. Umpty fills to a piercing arrow from Narnia, but Carrier follows suit quickly after. The chain of corruption will lock up TL for a second. Gumi Yushi stepping back forward with the ghost. Yon can chase you down, Guma. Yon can chase you down. But the smallest fraction of HP keeps Guma alive. How does Guma keep doing it? But Zayas, Zayas? with the final hour, is the final chapter in TL story here at MSI. Faker the first target all out. But can Impact do him up against Zayas? Zayas? Just one. He's looking to make it two. He's dodging, he's dipping, he's weaving his way around. The ghost enough to keep him alive for a second, but TL continues to collapse. So low. Carrier's reset and he's coming through the hex gates. Weaver's wall will separate the play as APA dashes in. They know Zayas is in the alcove having a little break, having a little moment to himself. But APA him. doesn't have the mana and he just can't find Zayas. In the end, he falls to the threaded volley. Faker Valkyrie's away. Carrier rejoined the fray and found another kill for T1. The madness, the madness! Does it continue? We've got to push on mid lane oh, there. Look for a dive, surely. X flash over. Guma Yushi is going to get the whole tower mid, I think. There he is just chasing in. Unravel body going out, the knock up. Umti's rejoining the break. Here we tanking the tower. APA first to fall. Faker with the TP has joined up with his buddies to fight in the top lane. Permafrost will stun Umti for a second, but Yon is here to party. So is Guma and TL are at a numbers disadvantage. Four to three as Impact runs out of the base and it's actually going to go catch the midway. It's the stalling there from Zayas giving T1 the time to regroup. And as you point out, Kobe, Both by these rockets from the Corky. Now, after Faker finishes up the wave, 
Seismic shove onto Ona, into the knockup. He's gonna have to burn the flash. Faker coming from the flank. Has that big one charged up. And here comes the Magnus Dormant to the back line. Umpty locked up for a second. Down to 200. Impact going in as well. As they manage to lock up Faker, the Seismic shove doesn't hit. But the all out the is everything for Impact. He pulls back his former teammate and sends him to a watery grave. Impact falls though as Gumayushi stabs him in the back. The Seismic Gel, are they beginning to Drake? Core as well as we do, Core only lands it onto Ona, the Seismic Shove's gonna flick him back though, and APA takes the kill. Core JJ able to survive. Gets another ultimate to bring Faker over to the rest of the team, getting the extra kills for themselves, and they get a... Keeping it together, 41, perfect game thus far. We're fighting against Ola's Chain of Grubs is gonna land onto Core JJ. Kevia kept at bay by impact down towards the bottom side. Umti is separated from his team. The Weaver's Wall coming in by APA. Kevia flashes into it, and he plays Spartan in. The Magnus Storm catches Core JJ for the moment. Zay is on the flank. Kevia and impact will be the, uh, and Core JJ will be the first to fall. The prey seeker onto the back line by Umti, but he just doesn't have the damage. And now impact has to run for the hills. The seismic shot onto Ono is enough with the spear from Yon. Zay is trying to get him right Package. now. T1 are having done to them what they've done to so they many teams in the past. No it's down to four lines, they have no idea. TL against T1, sneak the big bubble. I like a flashing, you see T1 gonna have to seize control and just weather the storm of this Baron. And that, that only the Drake, right? It's only the third. I mean, APA yeah. will get the inhibitor, and TL are happy enough with that. The Drake secured by T1 will put them on soul point. TL trying to get the mid lane prior, trying to force T1 to take the long route round because APA can always weave us off, weave his wall off from behind enemy lines. Glacial Prism wide again. There's the Weaver's Wall we talked about. The package coming in as well as Carrier jumps behind enemy lines. The Chain of Corruption coming in. Faker being called out by Umpty. Carrier has spears in his back. And TL have death in their eyes. Carrier the first to fall. Zayas doing everything he can on the back line, but Cordia J will lock him up for a second. Zayas flashing, ghosting, dashing away. The final hour, perhaps the final chapter in TL's books here. The seismic shot dodge to the side. T1 looking for the re-engage. Umti has kept Faker away from the fight for as long as he can. And TL still... trying to keep up that push, though. Keep up the pace of the game. They spent another five secondary tower here. 50% HP. There goes to Leo Wall. Weaver's Wall being used well by APA from the side lane. They'll take the final tier two that time is TL. What's remarkable, though, is all oh, carry out taking this. Oh, carry goes in. And Umti immediately dies on him. The Magnus Storm. We'll do nothing! Top lane is down! In TL, and they as you say, wave. carrier down, they have a wave, but Faker can try start to clear it. The mid lane should be their target instead. Get the wave through there, look for the inhib, or maybe you just look for the win. Can TL grasp victory from the draw of the defeat? Try. You might not get, another, uh, not get another opportunity. 20 seconds on carrier. TL will do it by the numbers, push through mid instead. Piercing arrow charged up by Gumiyushi as T1 look to make their last defense. TL pushing forward, and they will get the inhib T1 seed it to them. Carrier is going to be up in eight seconds. You have to call off the pressure now. The objective on this Baron. If TL do not win the game on this Baron, they are in big trouble because the Hex Soul acquired by T1. Only for TL, they will be able to get the top. Oh, they just respawned as well. That's going to be gone. About five, ten seconds ago, Impact's looking for it here with oh. the Baron of Minions. The rest of TL on their way to try and defend him. Will T1 overstep? They have the package. Will Faker go for it? Will he think that Impact's all alone? But he's not. His friends are here. His team is here. And Faker has to flash away. Carrier flashes away too. A great collapse from TL, but with the chain of corruption coming in. Kordja Jay's down to half HP, and T1 can look for a bit more of a Barney. A bit more of a fight. The as Zayos forward. Under pressure. You're the ones with the Baron that is expiring. I'm T. is walking out. Faker has no flash. I'm T flashes for him! He's dead! And Faker falls! They gotta go for it! One minute. Can they get it? Can they? Aside, but I thought today it would be extinguished. T TL waves. Triple have inhibs. other plans. Faker down for 30. Baron remains for 45. Impact pushing in the bot lane. The inhib, the first target for TL. Will they take it slow or will they go? For a battle go. here against T1, against underneath their Nexus Towers. Ona flashes forward, and he catches one AP able to flash out in time. The final hour from Zayas, trying to put the final chapter in the nail of the coffin of this book for TL. Zayas is in, and APA puts him in his place. TL will not be going quietly into the night. They will defy every expectation and take a game again. Yeah, not sure on the uh, on the angle there, and it is going Maybe to be a little. Oh, 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 yep, that's an umpty special right there. Does mean that you have two v two AP or a double AP rather. Late and got.
the wave crashing in as well. Now, Carrier okay. and Zeus will be able to get a little bit more APA. Looking for the damage onto Ona. No one tanking yet. Flashes away from the Herc. Charges Faker tanking. Last Embrace comes down. And the tower aggro juggling from T1 is sublime. Towards the level 6, going to be a really big spike for Lilia. The second spike you're always looking towards with these AP junglers is the moment they finish their first item. Because that is where... Oh, the oh, flash again. Give you cleanses early. Nice taking. Gomez down. It's a 2v2 for Yana Core JJ. Core JJ and Yon, they do it in a critical game here. Dragon is being taken already by Umpty. Of course, owner is going to trade on top side of the map, but Core JJ is not even done. Looking around here, they can call Umpty. Oh, he doesn't have W. He, Umpty stopped. Yeah. He, so he went for the Scuttlecrab to hit level six instead yeah, of going for the We're seeing the pings go oh, down. No, so Will they go for it? They're trying to catch out Ona. Umpty going in, lilting Lullaby on two. Remember, Guma has no summoners. Faker's here for the collapse. The Shockwave is only going to land Corda J. Umpty trying to put the damage down. Corda J's running for the hills. No flash for him, no ignite either. Umpty almost gets shocked into the wall as Carrier joins the battle. APA from across the side. Umpty continues to dash and dive. The fates call their chasing Guma. And Yarn dashes over the wall. And Guma's buried in his own jungle by TL. It's Umpty has no mana. Um, yeah, Umpty has smite though. So, well, yeah. I think even with the, about the Forge fight. God, Umpty coming in. There's the call of the Forge God. It's going to land onto him. Last in base as well. We'll him up and Umpty goes down. Guma finds him. Core JJ looking for more. Zion joins the battle from the bottom side, but he's knocked up. Carrier looking for a little bit more of this piece of the pie as Ona dashes in. Hammer shock, hammer smash. Core JJ dodges the last in base, but can't dodge the clap back from Carrier. The previous engage over aggressive from T1. This time it's Umpty that oversteps on the Lilia. Yon. Goes for the objective. Yon! Yon! No way does Yon do this to cleanse away! He tries to get out from Ona, but the steadfast presence will stop him in his tracks. He was so close! The brink! Are low, but again, you are playing into the poppy. Oh, you can't impact. go that far up. There's, oh, impact. Yeah, no ghost for him. Even Q3 won't save him from this. And APA TPing in as he tries to join the fight. Zeus has only the flash to escape this. Umpty joins the battle, but the Keeper's Verdict knocks him back into his place. Yeet it out as APA flashes onto the satchel. Can Zeus get in in time? Umpty looking at the Lilting Lullaby, but now he's going into his demise. Last in breath will lock him up for a second, and the Dawning Shadow spells his doom. T1 have had enough of North America. They are smashing. A lot of resource being used, and T1 still getting access to six scrubs. And this is what a lot of people, including me, were expecting coming into the Day. Even with T1 struggling, their early aggression has been one of the big ways that they took down teams like Gen G, took them to five games. Eno's going in, losing Lullaby. Onto Ono as well. Umpty, watch out, Eep as he dashes forward. Yon here to join the party, caught up in the last invest. Ono does have the flat, doesn't have the flash. In fact, it only has the hex to try and escape. Umpty looking for the Scuttle Crab. Guma keeping him at bay. Going to be very dangerous now for Team Liquid, even to farm their waves on the bottom half of the map. Flash from Ona, can't quite land the hammer shock into the wall. But it's such aggression from T1 now. Eon in the mid lane, Shockwave pulls him back. He dances back underneath this tower, but Piran attacking up from Baker. Zayas finds another in the top lane, healed up as well with the piercing oh. darkness. And you just can't kill him. Zayas in the end falls to Core JJ, but Guma's here and Ona's on the chase. Core JJ locked up with a hammer smash and nowhere for him to go. He'll be dashed against the rocks by T1. 13 minutes, and look at the T1 comp. There's Vayne, there's Oriana, there's Orn. Yon has no flash and no hope of escaping. Zayas finds another in the mid lane. Except perhaps we could find something, but meanwhile, your mid lane tier two is raised to the ground. He's on his way. I think they might have an inkling, but he does walk up. Baker steps forward. Core JJ there with the crash down. Knocked back with the satchel. Shockwave, though, as Faker survives oh, no. for much longer than he has any damn right to. Faker's on a rampage. The Dawning Shadow helping out as Core JJ has to retreat. Still not level six. And Faker finds another. A double for him. 5-0-1 on the Oriana. You're not ganking Faker. He's ganking you. And now Yon's on the run as well through his own jungle. There goes Umpty. Umpty's getting chased down by the support. Yes, he's been farming his Guma. Face checks into Yon, who flashes forward the render shutdown. And Yon can be happy with a single kill because Ona will not let him. Uh, Ona's ha he's hex flashing. He wants the tower and he'll get it. But APA is now there. The hex plays in minefield there to help out. TP immediately by TL, but Ona, steadfast presence in the phase rush enough for him to just waltz his way out. Uh, they're playing it fast and loose with this one. Carry out TPing in, got an ult for the wave clear. Okay, not back with the tofus. 
Like, he can still wave clear this. Owner's hit across the side. Another, Another TP. TP. Baker comes back. And Team Liquid realize perhaps they've overstepped a tad. The shockwave will pull Core JJ <laughs> out. And he flashes oh, right no. into Gumi Yushi. You can just chase in. They don't have the hard CC for him as he dashes and dances and weaves his way around. Umpty already so low. A final shot with the silver bolt pierces through the heart of not only Umpty, but also NA. Core JJ lands the shadowing strike to try and dash five. across the wall. He's still level five, as you say. What are you doing here, Core? <laughs> We're 16 minutes in. Gets another. Yarn almost falls to Gumiyushi. He's gonna, he's gonna ward it. Oh, it doesn't quite hit. The piercing dark across the wall. Meanwhile, in the top lane, we're still fighting as Impact will take out Carrier. APA low on mana, but has enough for a single bomb. And now he's knocked into the wall. Baker waiting for the command attack, holding it out. Oh, Steps no! into the bush. Satchel charge away by APA, <laughs> but there's no escape for him today. They're having fun. Teams lose. From a 10k, from a 10k advantage, yeah, okay? Atlas is hoping he keeps his hair after this one. Face call out, shockwave yon. Sacrifice to save Core JJ, who's only just tinged over to level six while Guma's nine. Zayas opening up as Umpty flashes, lilting lullaby. Finds a two man's leap, Dawning Shadow gives him a bit of a shield. Zayas hits with a Mega Inferno bomb. He dances away from Impact. Owner trying to do the same, has to burn his flash. Impact still chasing in, but Zayas, ooh, the final silver bolt, not enough to prop Impact to. His grave six feet under, Umpty can't quite land a swell seed, and oh, in the end, Zayas falls in a one-for-one. One. Guma's collapsing, though, alongside Faker APA on the wrong side of the rift. We'll have to try and dodge away. Owner looks for it. Hex flash forward. APA has a one-man army in front of him, a one-man wrecking ball in the form of this poppy. But... <laughs> He's just running! I, just keep going! I feel like... Hit him, APA! Hit him! Hit him! Oh! The Q! Oh. He probably has Steadfast Peasant back up so he can just oh, run he's away. Also poppy. Meanwhile, in the top lane, Yon and Core JJ are trying to kill Carrier, and they'll do it! I feel like this game oh, is cathartic. The TP! The TP! Oh. To see is Lilia, but it hasn't really delivered. That was such a good tumble into the back of the wall on the uh, Dragon Pit for the very quick yeah, auto the short there. Tumble. All out coming out from Impact. I think Shockwave available for Faker right now as Team Liquid lose their top lane up. The chase continues. Faker wasn't even in the play. I'm as scrambled as the teams are, I'm sure, at this you want, point. You want me to take over some yeah, play by play? Carrier's coming in! Support Ord! you never seen this! <laughs> and that's it. Oh, APA! Wait, he has a six package! He can get it! Dun, bombs, dun, bombs, dun, bombs, dun, bombs, dun, bombs, dun, bombs! Ignore the base! Yeah, T1 Just keep pushing him going. mid here. Faker's gonna TP to the bottom. Come on, let him have something! Riptail charged in, that will be the inhib tower falling. T1 looking for more. They have six grubs, so a bunch of mites helping out with this attack. They might just go for that top lane inhib tower. APA getting chased out by Faker. No TP on either of them. The inhib in the top lane. The next target for T1. Umti looking for a lilting lullaby, but can't get close enough to hit enough people. The engage from Core JJ enough to shut down Zayas. There's one. The charge away, though, by Ona. Riptel didn't survive for long enough for him to get in. Owner falls asleep in the middle of the fight. Not an advisable thing to do, I'll tell you, but he's able to escape for the moment because the last embrace will lock up impact. Fates call out. Call JJ in. Gumi Yushi has to flash away as APA joins the fray. Yon and APA will take another. Shut down! Yeah! Yeah! enough for Team Liquid to get back on the board. The shutdowns <laughs> rain down. By one. The gold league doesn't matter as much because Faker isn't there. And if he dies, if this Baron goes over to the world champs, carry up on the back side of Umpty. the pit, clearing out the control ward. Can Umpty steal? He has the flash. Can he get in? I, I mean, that, that would be critical. Verdict. Keeper's verdict. TL judge guilty by T1. Owner eats them out. The Mega Inferno bomb not enough to take. The angle. There's a couple of members here behind enemy lines. Core trying to look. And this is what you got to do in this sort of position. The, the third enemy is about to fall. The third enemy is about to fall. Very unlikely you come back from this sort of deficit, but Team Liquid are going to give it a hell of a try. Core JJ still on the flank. T1 don't know that he is waiting in the wings. He's waiting there for them. But the shockwave engage immediately chunks out Appa and. Uh, Umpty, APA low, the Magnus Storm, is it enough? Can Umpty get the loading lullaby down? They'll find one, Guma Pool, so does Ona, but the Nexus Towers have followed suit. Impact dashing in, and Zayas dashing out with a flash on a ghost. And a final hour, 
T1 only have three members left alive, but Zeus is one of those, and he's able to dance and weave his way just on the edge of Umti's awareness. Core JJ forced back to the fountain, and T1 will dead. extinguish the hopes of NA and have a date with destiny against G2.